Number nine, Amanda Nicole Martinez. On November the 7th of 2021, Amanda Nicole Martinez, aged 31, had ordered lunch from Sol de Jalisco in Temple, Texas, and went to the restaurant to pick it up. After returning to her home, she called the location to complain to the staff that the soup she'd ordered was so hot that it melted the plastic lid placed on the top of the container. She then reportedly returned to the restaurant and started yelling out insults before she proceeded to throw the container at a female employee's face. The worker, later identified as Janelle Broland, was left with a bloody nose and subsequently reported her eyes had felt like they were on fire. Police were called at the scene, but Martinez managed to leave the location before officers arrived. Fortunately, staff had taken photos of her license plate before she drove away and sent them to the authorities. Martinez was tracked down, arrested, and taken to Bell County Jail, where she was charged with assault, causing bodily injury. The woman who was also permanently banned from Sol del Jalisco was released later in the day after paying her $5,000 bond. Number eight. Natasha Ethel Bagley and Genesis Paguero. 42-year-old Natasha Ethel Bagley and her girlfriend, Genesis Paguero, aged 27, went to the drive through at a Burger King restaurant in Miami, Florida on April the 2nd of 2019. They asked for free fries, but their request was denied by an employee. The couple then parked the car and entered the restaurant minutes later where Bagley caused a distraction while Paguero jumped over the counter. The two women then reportedly asked the manager to open the register and give them all the money inside. The employee said Paguero punched her in the face when she tried to call the police and also threatened to hit her with a 45 caliber pistol. Bagley then joined her girlfriend behind the counter and also took part in attacking the manager before the woman ripped both registers and monitors from the counter. They eventually left the restaurant in their black SUV. The manager called the police who discovered the vehicle was registered to Bagley. The 42-year-old woman was eventually arrested on May the 27th on charges that included armed burglary with assault or battery, attempted robbery with a deadly weapon and criminal mischief. Her first charge had a potential sentence of life in prison under Florida law. Paguero was still on the run according to information released in the aftermath of Bagley's arrest. Number 7. Brianna and Brianta Johnson 26-year-old Anthony Rodriguez was serving tables at a George Webb restaurant in Wauwatosa, Wisconsin on January the 30th of 2022. He was the only staff member working the night shift when, shortly after 12 a.m., twin sisters Brianna and Brianta Johnson, aged 20, walked into the establishment. After placing their order, they allegedly began acting impatient and rude towards the employee. When their food finally came in, one of the women noticed a hamburger was missing and threatened not to pay for the order. Rodriguez then took back their food since they weren't willing to follow through on the purchase and threw it away. Afterwards, the duo was asked to leave, which caused them to become enraged and resulted in one of the sisters walking outside only to return holding a handgun. Both of them then attacked Rodriguez who was punched and body slammed to the floor before one of the sisters shot him in the face. The father of one survived his ordeal, but by his own account of the incident, believed he was going to die. He lost many of his teeth, suffered a spine fracture, and large bullet fragments remained lodged in his throat. Wisconsin police managed to track down the Johnson sisters and arrested them on charges of attempted homicide, although it wasn't made immediately clear which of them had fired the pistol. While awaiting trial, they were held in jail on a $100,000 bond and were facing up to 65 years in prison. Number 6. Rendoldus Chisholm and Kenneth Temple 43-year-old Vettia Roche, a night manager at a Taco Bell restaurant outside the Atlanta Highway in Georgia, was about to leave work at around 7.30 in the morning. On March the 10th of 2014, she was stopped by Rendoldus Chisholm and Kenneth Temple who were both aged 19 and employed at the same fast food branch. The two men reportedly decided to rob the restaurant during their manager's shift because she was slow. The woman recognized one of her attackers, even though he was wearing a mask and jacket, and told him she knew he worked there. Chisholm would later confess to the police that he'd tried to run away, at which point the woman grabbed him. He then proceeded to shoot her twice in the forehead and neck. Both men ran to their getaway car, but later decided to go back and see if their manager was still alive. When Chisholm approached her, Roche reportedly bit his hand. Both he and Temple began kicking her in the abdomen, after which one of them grabbed a car jack and struck her with it. Roche's lifeless body was found behind the establishment, while Chisholm and Temple were arrested later that day. They were taken 
to the Montgomery County Detention Facility and charged with capital murder. Further investigations revealed that there was a third man involved in the fatal incident, Jacoby Green, who was also charged with murder after admitting to the police that he'd helped the two men plan the robbery and then acted as a lookout while they perpetrated it. Number 5. Ryan Chawinski On June the 30th of 2018, Amelia Holden, age 21, was working the night shift at Vinnie Van Gogo restaurant in Savannah, Georgia. She'd just finished taking an order and was putting the menu back in its place when a man walked up behind her and groped her backside. The woman quickly turned around and grabbed him by the collar as he tried walking away. She forcefully pushed him into the counter, yelling at him not to touch her. The man fell to the ground and Holden asked another employee to call the police. The aggressor was identified as 31-year-old Ryan Chawinski, a father of two young daughters, who was involved in a long-term relationship with their mother. The woman was actually at the restaurant when the incident had occurred. Officers arrested Chawinski upon their arrival and he was charged with sexual battery. There was ample evidence in support of the charge as the incident was caught on the establishment's surveillance cameras in its entirety. A clip was subsequently shared online with many commenters praising the stand that Holden had taken against the groper. Chuinsky spent two nights in prison and was released on July the 2nd after paying his $2,500 bail. Number 4. Therese Dudnik Taffer and Jane Bloom 73-year-old Therese Dudnik Taffer and Jane Bloom, aged 76, were both having lunch on the terrace of the Parthenon restaurant and Chevy Chase Lounge in Branford, Connecticut on March the 11th of 2022. As they sat in the outdoor dining area section, a driver lost control of his SUV, went off the road and crashed into the restaurant's terrace. Both Taffer and Bloom suffered devastating injuries after being impacted by the vehicle. Paramedics were called to the scene, but the women's condition proved too severe and they both passed away within hours of the crash. One of the restaurant's waiters subsequently told a media outlet that he'd seen the vehicle coming towards the establishment and had barely managed to get out of his way before it slammed into the building. Nine others were hurt in the accident, with three of them listed as being in critical condition, and another three hospitalized with non-life-threatening injuries. The driver, whose identity wasn't disclosed, survived and remained at the scene to cooperate with the authorities. Number 3. Darian's Rashael Hughes On November the 5th of 2019, Darian's Rashael Hughes was working at a Popeye's restaurant in Tennessee when 55-year-old Deborah Stages came in to demand a refund. She claimed to have been charged twice for a $13.11 meal that she'd ordered two days prior. Stages had previously spoken to the manager of the restaurant on the phone and had reportedly been told to return to the location for her refund. Footage taken in the restaurant showed her and 29-year-old Hughes arguing at the counter, with the latter lashing out at the woman for allegedly using a racial slur and other employees attempting to calm him down. As Stages exited the establishment, separate footage showed Hughes running up behind her, picking her up and then body slamming her on the concrete. She was left with a broken leg, six broken ribs and fractures in her elbow as a result of the attack. Hughes was arrested and charged with aggravated assault following the incident, but he was subsequently released on a $20,000 bond. Two years later, in March of 2021, he was convicted and given the maximum available sentence of four years in prison. Today's topic was requested by Brian Dale, Dillagaff87, One Clown Shoe and KD TV Clips. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Adam Kramer On December the 2nd of 2013, Adam Kramer walked into the Olandres de Jalisco restaurant in San Antonio, Texas. The 28-year-old ordered six tacos, but when the cashier told him he had to pay for his food, he started sliding a large sword in and out of a six-inch sheath he was carrying on his waist. He threatened staff that he would kill them unless he got his food for free. When a waitress called the chef to come and speak with him, Kramer's phone rang and he went outside to take the call, walking back to his black Toyota truck. The woman took the opportunity to go behind him and quickly locked the doors, rendering him unable to re-enter the restaurant. Kramer kept shouting death threats from outside the building before he ultimately returned to his car and drove away. The man was arrested the following day on a separate charge of assault with a deadly weapon. He was also charged with aggravated robbery for the incident that had happened at the restaurant and imprisoned in the Bexar County Jail with his bail set at $50,000. Number 1. Efriki Mohamed Siddiq Patrons at a Manjaro's restaurant in Middlesbrough, England, 
were suddenly rushed out by staff in the middle of their dinner on Christmas Eve 2017. The customers were told that they needed to leave their food on the tables and exit the establishment immediately. Moments later, the police stormed in and helped evacuate the restaurant. The authorities had been called after a 41-year-old man named Mazar Ali, who was the manager of a food company, had been fatally stabbed by a 21-year-old kitchen worker, Efriki Mohammed Siddiq. Ali was delivering chicken to the restaurant while Siddiq was cutting meat at his station. When the employee turned around to see Ali standing right next to him, he was allegedly startled and lost control, stabbing the man once, killing him. He was tasered by officers, who then took him into custody. During the investigations that followed, surveillance camera footage from the day before the fatal stabbing emerged. Ali had been captured physically assaulting Siddig in the restaurant after a disagreement about a previous chicken delivery. However, the 21-year-old denied the allocation that he'd knifed Ali in retaliation for the previous altercation. The restaurant employee was initially charged with murder but eventually found not guilty during his trial in June of 2018. He was also cleared of an alternative charge of manslaughter and two charges of having a bladed article. Thanks for watching. Would you rather eat for free at any restaurant in the world or stay without charge at any hotel? Let us know in the comments section below.